Hey folks, good morning. It is a Saturday morning and I'm gonna run you through my day. So last night and this morning are a little unusual in that I fell asleep while I was studying last night and I woke up at about 1.50, so I fell asleep probably around like 12.45, 1. I woke up at 1.50 and I went to bed, but the problem was I couldn't get back to sleep until almost four or a little after four. So I woke up a little late today, but it actually feels really rejuvenating. So I'm up, I'm ready to go. It's now 11 a.m and I am heading to the coffee shop to study with a friend. here at about 11, officially done with my morning studying. Not that I've done studying, but I've done for the Alrighty, so I am officially done studying for the morning section of my day. It's about 3.45ish, I think it was 3.50 on my thing, uh, like right before I left. So now the plan is to go home, actually eat some food, and then play with a pupper and go back to school and study more. So I am driving home, but I was just thinking that something that I really like about Saturdays is that I feel like I can start to catch up. I never feel caught up, um, in case you were wondering. But uh, I think that that's kind of like a common thing with people is it, it really doesn't matter how much you do, you always feel just a skosh behind. Um, which I guess it keeps you uh, keeps you motivated. But for me, I really like Saturdays because I don't have any new lectures that are coming my way. I feel like I can really make ground on the weekends in getting caught up for the last week or getting prepared for the next week. So it's just really nice to have a couple days a week where you're not getting new lectures thrown at you. It's pretty glorious. All right, we're having some guacamole tonight for dinner. Barrow's over there on the floor. Say hi, Bear. Say hi, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here, eat some guac. It is currently 4.26, so I'm going to eat this, allow myself maybe one YouTube video, and then I'm gonna get back to the studying. Alrighty, it is 5.13 and I'm getting ready to head back to school to meet up with Katie and do another round of studying. So, today's actually been a pretty good Saturday. I also teach, I do the, the music thing as well when I'm not uh, doing the medicine thing. Today is one of the rare weekends in November where we do not have a competition or a football game, which is kind of unreal. I did find out recently that our football team is doing really well, um, and they have done really well in the past, and there's a chance that we could go um, we could go all the way. We could go all the way. <laughs> Sorry. If we do that, it means that we get a trip to Daytona, which is cool. Except that that performance is on the Friday of finals week. And since it's in Daytona, Florida, we leave on Tuesday of that week. Now, since it's finals week and I have a final scheduled Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it would mean I would have to get all my finals in Monday and Tuesday before we leave for uh, Florida. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, go football team, but I'm a little scared y'all are about to wreck my finals week. <sighs> Here we are. 
getting there, getting there, getting there. I think this is just a super pretty building. Ah, here we go. Every day of the week. Loving it, loving it, loving it. All right, let's get this party set up. Shall we need micro or biochem? Micro or bio. We'll just get out both. Get out my colored pens that I use, my pencil, my motivator pen. That's a pen that has the name of the med school I want to go on it, and it just keeps me motivated. Some tabs to mark questions I have for professors, or just in general that I need to figure out later. All right, now just to open it all up and study. It is 5.30. an exciting Saturday looks like <laughs> in the life of someone trying to get into that school. Alrighty, it is 9.50 p.m. and I'm getting ready to head home. I am still not quite done for the night, but my brain was just totally fried here, so. I'm gonna go home, I'm sorry, I had my sunglasses on my head so I was like feeling for them, making sure I took them off. Um, I'm getting ready to go home and I gotta eat some food or something because I still have not had like a real dinner. That guacamole was great, but it was the first thing I had really eaten today so I need to eat something else. And then I'm probably gonna get back at it. I, I got stats homework done, I studied some micro, I got a little bit farther in biochem, Essentially, I think what I'm gonna try to do tonight is finish the last biochem lecture so that I'm up to date on those. I'm like 15 minutes into it. And then just study micro, I guess. Um, Cause I was trying to read this assigned reading for biochem. My brain was just not processing it. So I think I'm gonna call it quits on that one for tonight and focus my energy in other areas where my brain hopefully can turn on. I got home around 10-ish and it's now 10.53. I was weak and made pizza for dinner. So I had pizza and like staler than I would like to admit Cheetos. So 10.54, gonna do biochem and then micro and then sleep at some point. But I get an extra hour of sleep tonight because we were falling back. So wish me luck. how precious he is. Oh. Okay. So fun fact, today since we fall back, we actually get, we actually get 1 a.m. twice apparently. I kept thinking we got 2 a.m. twice. We have officially reached the second 1 a.m. of the evening. It is 110, 1.11. And we've already gone through the one o'clock hour once, but since we're falling back tonight, we're at one o'clock again. I am two slides from being done with biochem, and then I've gotta go to bed, so. That means though that I can start with micro, fresh in the morning. I'll update you guys when I am actually going to bed. All right, 127 and I am done for the night. And by 127, it really basically means 
to 27 because we saw one o'clock twice tonight. Um, this is kind of exciting. I am almost done. I think I've got legit one. Oh no, I don't even have one page left. Huh. I'm almost done with this notebook and it is completely full of my notes for biochemistry. So tomorrow, new notebook for biochem. 127, basically 227. And there we go. And it is officially bedtime. Good night.